You wonder what pressure, if any, Tyson experiences at this stage of his career. He has recently been on the cover of national magazines, notably Sports Illustrated and The Ring Magazine, a feature in People Magazine. At 19 years of age, he has reached a level of eminence previously reserved in recent years only for Olympic gold medalists who came into the sport. He did not win an Olympic gold medal. In fact, he lost in the Olympic trials to Henry Tillman. But of course, professional boxing, an entirely different prospect than amateur boxing, and it has been kind to Mike Tyson. Here we go. He is a fast starter. One thing we should mention, Jimmy, before the action heats up too much, is this is a 16-foot frame. Very much the Tyson like it. Starting out, going to the body, a couple of those punches appeared low. In the Mike Carl Williams fight, we saw Jesse Ferguson go into the corner and onto the ropes, and then counter with left hooks off the ropes. is Luis Rivera out of New York City. And already, Ferguson has lasted longer than had some of Tyson's 12 first round But now, Tyson got an uppercut through the guard. A major league body punch is one of the things that distinguishes him, even in the amateurs. Mike Tyson can throw great body shots. He takes what you give him, and right now, Jesse Ferguson, Ferguson is just giving him the body. But Ferguson is standing still and allowing Tyson to swing away at the ribcage. We saw a few seconds ago one of the things that makes Tyson so special. He threw a tremendous left hook, missed with it, and didn't go off balance. Always in position to punch. First sign of aggression from Ferguson there, but he went back into the shell. If form holds true, Jesse Ferguson at some point in that strategy of laying on the ropes, will come out firing with the left hook. And if he does, and if he connects with Tyson's chin, we may have one of the questions that surrounds Mike Tyson's career answered. Mike Tyson is pacing himself more at this point, Jim. Generally, he would rip punches with both hands without caring about what the opponent did in return. He has some respect for Jesse Ferguson's power. He is not letting his hands go with the uh, speed and consistency that he does, did in his first 17 fights. trying to pull Tyson in close where he can't do it, you know, smother his punches. Tyson, on the other hand, is not being as busy as he normally would be. Ferguson said that he absolutely not would not try to wait Tyson out and drag him into later rounds where he hasn't been before. It might not be an inadvisable strategy. Tyson only wants to been as far as round five. That was in his most recent bout against Mike Jameson. TKO early in the fifth. And in that fight with Jameson, which did last in the fifth round, 
it seemed that Mike got a little bit discouraged. He was in with an opponent that just grabbed him and looked to survive, and he really didn't uh, keep his concentration. It'd be interesting to see fighting the same kind of opponent here at Ferguson, who's not giving him very many punching opportunities, if he continues to stay on top and keep his concentration, keep in the fight. Two of the questions the boxing people have raised about Mike Tyson have yet to be answered are his chin and his stamina. Right now, he's in, been in three tough rounds. Not tough in the sense he's taking a lot of punishment, but he's throwing a lot. And I think the pressure of the event has got to drain something out of him. He is not breathing heavily. He looks pretty, in pretty good shape at this point. You would find almost no one in the arena believed before this began that it would go to a decision. But if it were to go that far, Certainly Tyson has won the first two rounds and is controlling the third. You see quickness in Mike Tyson that really you've never seen with a fighter of his build in the heavyweight division. Of course, Muhammad Ali was quicker. Of course, perhaps Floyd Patterson was quicker, although Customato, who trained and managed them both, said that he believes Tyson may be quick, as quick as Patterson. But never a man with that build, with that much power, throwing punches that fast. He has not sustained it in this fight, but in, in flashes you have seen what has impressed so many people in his pro career to date. And of course, the relationship to Patterson, both fighters groomed by the now late Customato. Their physical attributes are so dissimilar that there is really no direct comparison. Pretty solid right uppercuts by Ferguson, and Tyson did not appear phased by it. You might be able to see here that the fighters are fighting with eight ounce Everlast thumbless gloves. The eight ounces in, instead of ten ounces would favor a puncher like Tyson. As with the size of the ring we mentioned earlier, 16 feet, 8 inches, the ring. The Thumbless Gloves, mandatory in New York State, in non-title fights. That flurry right there by Tyson, he did not sit down on his punches. He threw a lot of punches, but they were, for him, pity pat punches. He's got to set himself. Once again, those are arm punches. Coming to the end of round three. Already is becoming an interesting and educational experience for Mike Tyson. Though a fight, like all the others he's been in, in which to this point he is totally in control. More of the Mike Tyson, Jesse Ferguson fight still to come here on Classic Ringside. Round four, and Jesse Ferguson now joins two fighters, one named Don Halpin, another named Mike Jameson, as the only two men to have made it this far in the professional ranks in the ring with Mike Tyson. In case you have joined us late, the man in the black trunks is the young phenomenon of the heavyweight division, 19-year-old Michael Tyson, originally from Brooklyn, New York, now lives in Catskill, New York. 17 straight knockouts, 12 of them first-round knockouts, coming into this, his toughest test so far. A few moments ago, Jesse Ferguson looked over to referee Louis Rivera for some help. Uh, he just got hit a low blow, as he has been hit a few during this fight. His problem is his trunks are slipping down below his protector. Now, Jesse appears to want to say something to Tyson about the low blow. Tyson tires himself out from all these home run punches he's throwing. 
and then looking to come on in the late round. Jim Lampley with Alex Wallow. Ringside, ABC Sports Live from Troy, New York. Scheduled 10 round heavyweight fight between Mike Tyson and Jesse Price. Tyson in the black trucks, Ferguson in the red. And coming into this round, Tyson has won all three previous rounds with almost dead certainty. But there is such a thing as dead certainty in the scoring of a boxing match. And you're here to tell us there isn't, I'm sure. but he has kept Tyson at bay. As soon as Tyson moves in, he doesn't come in firing. He just stepped in and put his head on Ferguson's shoulder, and Ferguson accepted the clinch until Louis Rivera broke him. Three weeks ago, Tyson scored a TKO over a fighter named Mike Davison at 46 seconds of the fifth round in Atlantic City. As of right now, Jesse Ferguson has lasted longer in the ring with the professional Mike Tyson than any of his 17 previous pro opponents. So Ferguson has at least that distinction to carry with him as he attempts to gain confidence as the bout goes on. It's difficult to judge the motivation of a fighter, but I would say that Mike Tyson's trying to do two things here. One, he's trying to pace himself. I think he has some questions about his stamina, and he's trying to get some questions answered here as well. And the second thing he's trying to do is be careful. Not to get in the way of one of Jesse Ferguson's left hooks. I think he respects, respects Ferguson. And he's just not going to come in firing and leave himself open as he was able to do against lesser opponents.
just Ferguson not taking the break, holding on to Tyson's left hand. He's just going to hold until Rivera has to absolutely pry him apart. It's not going to be enough for Rivera to say break. He's going to have to get in there and force him apart. Another left. Delivered in close quarters. See, Ferguson just is not listening to Rivera at all. He's just going to continue to hold until he just physically forces him out. Can't say I blame him. The only thing Rivera can do is what he just did. Give him a warning. He'll take points away if he continues to do it. Tyson's making a mistake by letting himself get this close to Ferguson. He must maintain a little bit of distance so that he's going he's to take a point. He's just trying to He was trying to find Jesse Ferguson. For flinching and refusing to break when ordered. He had warned him earlier in this round. Jesse Ferguson refused to break. The referee, Louis Rivera, disqualified him. And ironically, that breaks Mike Tyson's KO string. That will go down in the books as a win disqualification. It will not be his 18th straight knockout. One of the dubious distinctions of the year. Jesse Ferguson becomes the first of Mike Tyson's 18 professional opponents not to suffer a knockout. And he did it by almost forcing the referee, Luis Rivera, to disqualify. One minute and 19 seconds of the sixth round. And Mike Tyson's string goes to 18 and 0. And you saw the explosive punching power which has made him the talk of the heavyweight division. Let's bring in uh, Mike Tyson right now, right now at this moment. And you can see there the young man who has succeeded once again. Mike, you had to go as far as the sixth round, farther than you have been before as a professional. Were there some moments of frustration during the fight for you? Because, you know, I never get frustrated because I know we have a 10 round limit. And the, cr the crop of heavyweights nowadays have a little difficulty going to full 10 round. And the way they have a plan in their mind to beat me is to jab, hot shot, and grab me. But it's 10 rounds, and eventually I'm going to catch them. Did you approach this fight with a little bit more respect for Ferguson, physically the left hook, than you might have brought into your previous bouts? Not at all. I was just a little there because of the lack of experience, but I was surely com comfortable when the fight was over. When I came up the ring, I was going to be the winner. Okay, Alex, we saw once again a sensational performance by Mike Tyson. Breaking Jesse Ferguson's nose, what do you have to ask the young man? Well, I'm just impressed, Michael, that you don't appear winded at all, that you appear to keep your poise, you pace yourself, and you show that uh, those critics who say, A, that you may have chin problems, and B, you may have stamina problems, uh, you answer those critics to an extent today against a quality opponent. Well, the um, only thing, I can't change any opinion. I just have to continue fighting and have to change the opinions on this stuff. After seeing this performance, perhaps they still have doubt. But eventually, as I go successfully defeating all the contenders and perhaps the champion in the nearby future, then I will have to quiet all doubt. But then still, we have a little doubt with them. More of the Mike Tyson engine of destruction rolling on. Next up, another frightening assault as journeyman Steve Zosky becomes...